Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce NIS ADAS Replay and Hill Task System and show you a demo of how NIS ADAS Replay System injects multiple high-resolution camera data streams as well as LiDAR data and radar data into an ADAS CCU. Here's a diagram shows the architecture of the ADAS Replay System. As you can see, on the right remote side, this is the ADAS ECU and the test and is connected to the real-time system on the left via various I.O. interfaces. Different interface cars, such as camera cars, automotive network cars can be added to the real-time system depending on the test needs. On its left, there is an environmental server that is responsible for processing the recorded data files and streaming the data to the real-time system via the RDMA over converged Ethernet which allows for direct memory access between the real-time controller and the environmental server without involving either one's operating system. This permits high-throughput, low-latency networking, which is essentially critical for the data streaming in a complex ADAS system, which contains multiple 4K cameras plus multiple LIDARs and radars. On the leftmost side, this is the customer server on which you can run the test orchestration program and interact with NIS ADAS replay system via the gRPC commands that are provided in many different languages and platforms. Now let's take a look at the real demo over here. First, as you can see, this is our environmental server providing us with the recorded data files. It is then connected with the RDMA over converged Ethernet card to this real-time system over here. In this real-time system, we have the GMSL camera interface card, automotive Ethernet interface card, and the CAN card that communicates with this ADAS ECU. This ADAS ECU can output the injected camera data via this DP port, so I connected a monitor to this DP port to visualize the injected camera data. Now I will start the replay by sending a command from my laptop to the ADAS replay system. You will see the monitor now shows the re-injected camera data. There are seven cameras replayed simultaneously. The monitor shows one or four out of the seven cameras at the same time. So I will switch between different cameras displayed on the monitor. Right now, the monitor shows data from the front camera of the car. Now let's switch to the four side view cameras. Now you can see the cameras on the front left and front right real left and the real right. In this demo, all the replay data, including camera, radar, LiDAR data, are synchronized by the replay system to ensure they meet the timing requirements of the ADAS ECU. The hardware and software synchronization capabilities of NIS replay system is the key factor of a successful data injection into the real ADAS ECU. The injected data is recorded again by this ECU after receiving it from the replay system. So we can run an analysis program to compare it with the data in the original replay files. Here you can see the result of the analysis. As you can see, the offset of the timestamps between injected data and original data is quite consistent. There are small jitters, but there is no accumulated drifting. In this demo, we showed how NIS ADAS replay system inject real data into the ADAS CCU for testing and validation purposes. While the replay system uses the real data and solve the challenging of the high fidelity data needs in the testing application, there is one common understanding is that one single testing methodology is not enough. The combination of software in the loop test data replay test and hardware in the loop test ensures more confidence in the ADAS application. NIS Hill test system is designed for the hardware in the loop testing. It has the same hardware architecture and shares the software design with the replay test system. The main difference between the two systems is that in the Hill test, 
The data is generated from simulation software such as IPG Car Maker, VTD, or NIMO Drive, instead of the recorded real-world data. As you can see, the system design is consistent between an ice replay and a hill test system. Customers can use the same hardware devices and software components as one system to easily move back and forth between replay and hill testing, which allows for data correlation to uncover bugs fast and fix them as well as increasing test coverage along the product development cycle. Reusing the same fundamental test architecture will also make sure to reduce both development and capital costs because you don't need to re reinvent things over and over again. Thanks for watching and see you next time.